So, can we inoculate a sterilized mushroom block without any sterile technique, no HEPA filter, and no still air box? Let's find out. All right, so here we have our block, and then our bag of spawn. I opened this bag of spawn in free air, so there obviously is contamination falling into this bag right now. So I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna open our block, Not the cleanest, but it doesn't really matter. Just closing it to open air. The idea of using a lot of spawn is so we can quickly colonize this block and have a successful grow without contamination taking over. So I'm going to quickly do this. And we're going to use a lot of spawn. The rest of this bag. Well, the rest of what we can get out of it. So it's almost half spawn. So uh, the success rate of this being fully colonized is almost without a doubt, I think we'll have successful growth, uh, or at least successful fruiting of these mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. Here we go, I have a nice sealed block. And then just gonna mix it up. The spawn that I used inside of this mushroom block was pink oyster mushroom spawn. The reason why we used oyster mushroom spawn in this experiment is because of how aggressive uh, at least my strain of oyster mushroom is. Um, a lot of oyster mushrooms colonize very quickly and this is only going to help us get a nice block like this quickly. The idea is speed. We want to get this quickly colonized so no contamination takes over and we're going to find out if it works. Hey everyone, so it's been two days. Here's our block that we inoculated two days ago. And it looks like from where I can tell, there is no contamination uh, visible. So I can't see any right now. It just looks like uh, the pink oyster mushroom mycelium is blasting off of the spawn as I expected. All right, so it's been five and a half days. And so far, the block is coming along very nicely. Uh, still can't spot any contamination on it, but as you might be able to tell, there is a bunch of these nice white puffy balls of mycelium. So I think this block will colonize uh, before any contamination does. Alright, this is day number seven and a half, and uh, here's our block. I'm going to bring it out in the light so you can see a little better. See the little dots, but it's pretty much almost fully colonized. And in the next two days, this is going to be done and ready to fruit. So I'd like to conclude that, uh, yeah, you can inoc you can inoculate mushrooms without one of these bad boys. Um, you know, is it the right way to go for scaling? Absolutely not. You're going to have issues, but. Say you have some spawn and you were able to get a couple mushroom blocks, you can go heavy on the spawn and inoculate your oyster mushroom species uh, right in the air, open air. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you guys ha want to see any other videos, just let me know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see what I can do and make them. Uh, thanks for watching.